Oh, come on. Is this working? Oh, yeah. I think it's on. I love the internet. Oh, that was a late start today, kids. We're making a six cupper. Because I am low on whatever it is that you need in the morning to make the morning <clears throat> go. Right? This is a pro move because <clears throat> I'm in a hurry. Ready? Almost done grinding. I'm gonna start that water, get that heated. So by the time I get all this in here, she'll be shooting scalding coffee water right into the beautiful beans. Ha <laughs> ha! How about that? Ooh, kind of grimy. All right, we're gonna let that do its thing over there by itself let's uh let's come over here i think i've got this ready to go my brain is still trying to yes please yes please can i just get you to there you go three attempts hit that button three times okay what am i doing today <clears throat> having a late breakfast apparently sometimes that's called brunch the old brunch. So I'm gonna go with the uh, the trifecta, the classic trifecta, I guess. Bacon, eggs, and pancakes, I guess? That's what I have on hand. Oh, dude. So I gotta get a few things sorted out. I'm not eating a whole package of bacon, although, I think about eating a whole package of bacon. I'm not going to. Think about it, though. That's, ouch frozen so we're gonna come in here right there right we'll go about half we're gonna get the old Ooh, I'll cut my finger okay that's cut gotta get a I'm gonna put it in a ziploc because my bacon once I cut it open <clears throat> it doesn't last a whole long time it lasts, uh, I don't know, probably till next week. We're going to put that one later. I'm going to go back up to the freezer for, I don't know if I just filmed the back of my shoulder. Man, what's happening? Right, we're going to get some pans going, kids. Pans! Bacon pan, oh my god. Well, this is going to be fun. I just right now realized that my pan that I was going to cook uh, something in is, in fact, in a state of not clean. Oh, man, this sucks. Maybe you should start the stream over. All right, let's get this sorted out. No, no. I'm just going to cook it in a little tiny pan, which is terrible, but... How hard would it be for me to clean that pan? That would be hard. That's taco meat pan that's been sitting there for a few days. Ooh, looks like we got our first, uh, let's see. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm uh, sleepy, but okay. I'm just getting going here. So I'm just gonna cook the eggs and the bacon grease and that thing. I think that, that should fit. I think we could do that. Why is that wet right there? Oh, I had the water. <clears throat> here we go. Let's get some stuff warmed up. The bacon's going to take the longest because of the fact that it's a uh, tiny-ass pan because I'm not super great at remembering to clean my pans. Okay. Just need to get that. Release! Release! Oh, that's packaging. You don't want that in there. There we go. 
So what I'm going to do, frozen block of bacon. We're going to pull this plate out. And as those bacon start to delaminate, we will, obviously I can't cook a whole slab of, half slab of bacon in there. Oh, got some comments. Hold on a second. We'll be right here. Just clean the garage. Clean the gar nice. Clean out the garage. That's a task that I need to do, actually. Not for a new car. Just I need to clean the garage. But, yeah, the garage, the garage, much like my, uh, my pan, does not clean itself. So, that's warming up. Uh, we're going to make some pancakes here. We're going to do shallow fried pancakes. I probably should have put that in the description, but I didn't. We're not going to go overboard and make a thousand pancakes because I can't eat that much. So we're just going to make the small batch. Uh, probably like one cup. One cup might be too many pancakes, but I'll probably do the one cup recipe just because, I mean... I could do the smaller than one cup recipe, but I would have to do uh, division in my head. And not that I don't think I could do division, I just don't feel like doing division. Oh man, not only does my pan need clean and my garage need clean, apparently my house needs clean because I just stepped on something that stuck to my sock package. I probably have glitter on my feet. <clears throat> All right, let's get this. Let's, let's get this thing started. We'll go with a medium. We're going on a medium on that. Cast iron pan there, guy. Okay. Pancake griddle, medium heat, lightly greased grill. No, we're gonna we're gonna do shallow fried pancakes today. Yeah. Alright, one cup of mix. Got the one cup. Let's do this. Is there a new tool this week? Uh uh. Yeah. This is new. I gotta do spatula. But you may think, wait a second, you already have a red small spatula. True facts. Now I have two small red spatulas. Although this first one is much nicer because it's this handle here is like, look at this. Wah, 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 wah. Apparently they, they shorted their uh, stiffness on their rear. They're pretty similar though. A little bit different color red, but yeah, that's new. I'm gonna use him today. I'll scrape the bowl with that. I already washed it. We'll just uh, put it in there. So that's new. I mean, offhand, real close to where I'm standing anyway. Am I filming the, uh, let's, let's get all the action here. We're going for one cup of uh, this pancake mix. All right, that's close. For some reason, I'm not feeling like I should be like super duper, uh, doing it amazing. I can't believe how delayed the stream is. Like I am already, I said I'm watching the stream, I'm showing the spatulas right now. Right now the the, the, the powder's in the bucket. That's, that's how far away this is. What's going on here? Why aren't we live? That's as live as it is. That's a huge delay. I mean, that's, oh man. Yeah, I'm putting water in right now. And you're looking at spatulas. That's crazy. Well, actually, I'm, I'm thinking about putting water in. Uh, two-thirds cup. I'm going to get my two-thirds cup vision going. Two-thirds is right there. I was like, why did I get the big cup out? Ah, spilt water everywhere. Oh, that's not quite two-thirds cups. Yeah, in the video, I just put the powder in. <laughs> that's crazy. What a delay. I feel like you don't believe me. Here, look. See, it's like a time machine. We're we're going in the past right here. So I just I just put the powder in, and now I'm probably saying I'm probably noticing how delayed the video is. Yeah, I'm grabbing the water, thinking about putting the water in, realizing that the cup's wrong, looking for the two thirds cup, reading the instructions, finding the two thirds cup. I just, I just don't know. Pouring a two-thirds cup, see? Now we're going back to the future. Oh, the bacon's sizzling. I need to get my whisk out. We're going two holes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be pancakes for sure there, kids. The bacon sizzling makes me think I need to uh, address it. Coffee's ready. Coffee's ready. Check it out. Boodlight. I'm gonna have some boodlight. Oh yeah. One of the dogs barking. I don't have. I have one dog, and my dog is not barking right now. In fact, I had to wake her up take her outside so she wouldn't decide that she was going to wake up and want to go outside in the middle of the stream which she'll want to go outside in the middle of the stream there's really no all right that one looks like it can come off i think i don't know if this fork's the right tool let's upgrade bam kershnippers oh you're so close to coming off come on bacon cooperate I just want to peel like some of you off the block. All right, what am I doing next? I'm gonna get some sugar in this coffee and some cream. Otherwise, my day like I'm still I'm still operating no no coffee and sugar right now. So like you gotta realize that's a big deal. That is a very big deal thing. Extremely extremely serious conditions. For those of you that drink a lot of Bud Light, you can have your Bud Light in a coffee cup. Now you may not believe this, I actually know a guy who kind of uh, works for the Bud Light people. He used to actually live in St. Louis and make Bud Light for reals. Not, not so much a uh, on the floor worker bee, more of a on the floor making sure the worker bees do their job type of a guy. Still works for Anheuser Busch InBev. I sent him a picture of that coffee mug and he approved. Oh, bacon! Why are you so frozen? I guess the real question is, Elf Shelves, why are you so bad at washing your dishes? Why don't you think? Why did I think about that before I started? Man, is there an opposite of thick cut? Because that's what this is. This is the thinnest bacon I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the kind of bacon you buy when you got like 15 kids and everybody wants a piece of bacon. You get the thinnest bacon in the history of the world, so everybody gets at least a piece. Okay, there we go. Now we're cooking. We're getting down to the point where I can cook four slices at a time. Come on! Yeah! Oh man, the stream's doing something. What's going on? Did I lose it? It says it's still running. My, uh, my personal uh, view, my monitor is uh, all trashed out. Take it live? Yeah, I can't see my own screen anymore. I don't know what's happening. Well, we're just going to persevere. We're going to try. We're getting to the point where this bacon is going to be ready to start individual slice cut cooking. I can't believe I'm cooking in such a small pan. Actually, I can believe it, but I just... I'm in disbelief while I also believe it. I could have got a cast iron, but because I never get a real good cleaning on my cast iron, I always do a hot water before I use them, and I would have had to have done that first. 
sorry, I don't have to do that, but I would have wanted to do that. So yeah, one, two, three. Well, you're gonna get uh, a solid uh, bacon cooking stream today. If you're into that, because I can only fit like barely that much bacon in this pan. This is stupid. This is stupid. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna get a pan or a plate for catching the bacon. I don't know where I'm putting that. I feel like something happened on the stream here. Like, I don't know what's going on. Because, like, I have... Oh, the dog just smelled the bacon. She just heard it. I got nothing here. Like, what's going on? Live. Spinny Wheel of Doom. <sighs> Welcome to the chat. Remember, our streaming service is subpar. Come on. Oh, what is happening? I just want to reload it. Play. Live. Okay, I think I got it. Jeez. All right. Where was I? Well, this week, it was super cold. And I didn't do much this week at all. I stayed inside and tried not to freeze to death. The wind was crazy. That pancake batter is way too thick. Oh, God. I'm going to have to add a splash. Oh, my God. Added way too much. Now it's too thin. Oh, my God. This is happening. I just totally aced that out. So now i got to add more powder. Yeah, that's pretty thin. I didn't mean to do that. I think someone might have switched my beans out for decaf. I don't feel like I'm getting the proper amount of caffeine in my brain right now. Is that even a thing? Something's warming up. That's getting hot. Ooh, let's turn that down a little bit. What is this? The stupid little pan, dude. Angles are all off. I need a little more heat. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder about my decisions. This fork ain't working. Because, like, on the big pan, this is my bacon fork. I can't make it work on that, so that's awesome. Got my coffee spoon sitting there getting raw bacon grease all over it. Can't wait for trichinosis. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait. All right, we're going with a... Just a regular fork. It's just not enough angle. Like, I feel like this was sizzling more earlier. I think I did turn it down, though, didn't I? Okay. That's way too hot. It's not even ready. Uh. So yeah, just freezing cold. I did get to go shopping on Friday. Super pumped. Had a great day shopping. Got so much loot. Like, whoo! It was like, dude, if this plastic bag keeps sticking to my foot, I swear to God. Something I just realized. <laughs> How am I going to do this stream? I haven't cleaned the juice container from last week. Oh my God. All right, give me a second. I got to figure something out. Watch out, Bruno. We got to go to the backup system. We're going to go to the backup. Oh, it's going to be risky. This is, this is going to get risky. All right, we got the blender. Jeez. I just realized how <laughs> I was not ready at all. Like, why is this happening? Something about streaming. I always feel like I need to get it going. And like, I was laying in bed and like, whoa, I didn't realize what time it was because I didn't look at the clock. And the next thing I know, I was like, oh dude, you gotta, you gotta make a decision here. All right, check it out. The backup, the backup container, that's glass. That's right. I got a backup container. Square. The crazy part is this probably probably won't spill juice everywhere. It's probably gonna be my primary from now on. Let's, uh, let's get this camera sorted out. Well, yeah. Just when I thought it was time, I need to do a bacon adjustment.
Now, I don't know how you like your bacon cooked. Sometimes you don't even like bacon cooked. I like mine not burnt to a crisp, so like those are gonna come out here shortly. I'm gonna get some paper towels going for the catch pan. Okay. Oh, this is getting risky. All right, we're gonna go that way with you, bacon plate. We're gonna put the sugar plate there. Boom! Bacon tower sandwich there. Is that? Yeah, I don't know. I'm calling that. I like it. I like it kind of chewy. As if I can. Now the trick is make sure you get it flat. Otherwise, you're gonna have curled bacon. Don't worry. Curled bacon tastes the same. Come on, bacon! Just get in the plate. Oh yeah, we getting that sizzle. Get this camera in the right spot here. Oh, don't fold. Frizzle, frazzle, bacon, cooking. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five. I only got four there. I should only get one more. Otherwise, I will be cooking bacon for a thousand years. All right. Vims are in. We got five of them in. What do we got going on here? I haven't checked. Toe shifter. Pancakes, fried bacon, grease. Woo! Mind blown! Yeah, we're doing that for sure. <laughs> yes! That's why we got a live stream going, kids. Holy shit. Okay, back to the OJ. OJ. Yeah, this is happening. This is happening. Okay. So this blender originally came with one of these plastic. It was all beat up and bombed out. Then I got that the other one. And then I found this one. I haven't actually used this one. I've never used this one. I've washed it though. Okay, what do we got here? Before I spill it, we got orange juice. It says 100% a value of vitamin C, no sugar added. It will contain 100% juice when properly reconstituted. So currently, since it's a uh, three waters to one, uh, this is a quarter of the final. This is 400% uh, uh, juice right now. Is that right? Is that if, if you had three and there's a total of four, that's a, that's a times four, 400%? I have no idea. Oh man, yeah, good call there. That's why I have subscribers. I don't know if I could have came up with that one myself. I was definitely going to cook eggs and bacon grease. And I'll be honest with you, I may not be cooking eggs today. We'll see. And I probably will. Okay, here we go. I don't even know if this one holds as much water. I mean, hopefully it does. Ooh, I feel like I'm aiming. I'm kind of shitty. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Just get the aim right. Just get it just right, dude. Here we go. Bacon in the oven, 350. You figure out how much per side. No splatter. Bacon lays flat for BLTs later. No worries. Room on the stove top. Pour the grease off for your eggs and pancakes. Ooh, man. Do you know what I actually have? <laughs> Jesus. I've had it for like years. I have a I have a cast iron griddle that goes across two burners. I should break that out one day. I'm not even making that up at all. A giant cast iron griddle. <laughs> Well, I got some bad news on my oven. My oven doesn't really work anymore. Well, it's kind of a long story. I'm not sure if I want to tell that story, to be honest with you. The oven works. It's just uh, the oven doesn't have the insulation around it anymore because a mouse decided to, yeah. Let me tell that story. I'll tell that story right now. 
I'm gonna tell a story about my, yeah, my oven. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Oh my god, it doesn't all fit. Okay, that's that is spilling. Learn something there, kids. No, I I've heard the story that uh, I believe my mother bakes her bacon or used to. Like it's it's a good way to do it actually. So here's the story of my oven, and it's a true story. And I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings or blame anybody. I'm not blaming anybody, but there there will be people named kind of. Oh shit! The bacon. See, if I was baking it in the oven, it would be just cooking. Oops. Come on, flip, you little bacon bit. All right, it wasn't, that wasn't a tragedy. I may have overreacted a little bit. All right, this stove that I'm working on, it's a good, it's a decent stove. I, uh... I did a barter for it. I helped move some heavy furniture and, and I load a bunch of stuff for a moving, moving and people couldn't fit this in the moving van. I was like, well, I'll just take your stove. And then that's how it works. And then, yeah, whatever. Here we go. We're gonna, this is so full. You know, watch me. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna put this, we're gonna get this, we're gonna have this in the, in the, in the zone. We're gonna have this in the zone. All right, I'm gonna tell you, some of you may not have heard the story, my, my, my oven story, here we go. All right, that spills much less. It just holds less. That's so sucky. Froth in the stash. Here we go. Strainer. Woo! Okay, true story. This this stove, which I love, and I'm so bummed. I probably need to do something about it. Oh my god, that bacon's way too done. Uh. The house I live in is an uh, old house and a new house. The old house is definitely an old house with, like, lots of, like, uh, ways for, like, mice to get in my house. Like, there's actually, like, exposed dirt in crawl spaces, and there's tunnels in there. I know that's how they get in. Anyways. I'm not going to give you all the details, but we'll just say I had a buddy over to my house one time, and he was going to cook something in my oven, which is fine. And what he was going to do, he was going to broil some uh, garlic bread, if I'm not mistaken. And what happened was, it wasn't the fact that he was broiling garlic bread. It was, it was, it was the boiling, oh, sorry. The broiling of the garlic bread brought the problem to a, a final, like, yeah, that's the problem. So I used to, oh, I got some cards here, we got. No, 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 no. A shorter individual. Anyways, I used to, I mean, I cook, a, well, I used to cook a lot of pizzas in this oven, and every time I, for a while there, when I'd cook my pizzas, I'd always notice kind of a weird smell coming out of the oven, but always just like, ah, oh, whatever. That's just how life is. Well, my buddy decided to pre-eat the broiler, which I don't know if you know anything about broiling. You Normally, I would assume everyone knew this. Maybe I'm wrong. You don't preheat a broiler. There's no reason to preheat a broiler. A broiler just broils. Anywho, he preheated the broiler, and it's, like I said, it isn't the fact that he preheated that is the problem. It just brought it to the surface. So he preheats the broiler. If you don't know what a broiler is, a broiler is the element in the top of the stove here that cooks down to, like, brown cheese. Well, he preheats the broiler for a while, and basically what happened is the broiler got so hot, it ignited the mouse nest between the top here and inside in the insulation of the stove. Ignited it. It was on fire. So all of a sudden, mouse nest, turd, piss, shit, mouse, disgusting, starts pouring out of the seams of the oven. Like, it's just pouring out that seam, out the metal cracks. It's on fire. It's like, holy shit. There's like a, there's a disgusting smell of fire inside of the stove. Like, it's not in the stove. It's inside the layers of the stove. So, like, I had to put, like, I got some fireproof equipment because I do ceramics or whatever. I put all that on and start dismantling the hot, it was a hot stove. We were like cooking. We, I think we cooked spaghetti or something. So I'm, I'm just I dismantled my like 
flaming hot stove, ripped it apart, look inside, a smolding mouse nest with fire, like, eh, I shouldn't say flames, but it was definitely pouring smoke out. Big old mouse nest. Get that out. The whole house is filled with mouse turd, fart, pee, poop, smell. Like, it was the worst. Literally the worst. But the result was it brought to the attention that the hole inside of the insulation was a mouse condo. The mice were just living in there, having a party. So I took all that insulation out and tried to clear the mosquito, but there's no insulation in the stove. So I feel real... I'm not comfortable running the oven part because there's no insulation. I, I, I don't know if it's safe or if it could, I mean, I don't know. So I just, I ain't doing that anymore. So I have a range. I don't have a stove anymore. I haven't used the stove in years, years and years because of that. I looked into buying more insulation, but like it's, I could probably buy a whole oven for what they want for a piece of insulation. Like it's crazy. So I just think, I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to cook pizzas on a pizza pizzazz and I'm just going to use a toaster oven and I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to do that. That's all I'm going to do. I, I'm good with it. I don't care. Life, life is fine. But yeah, that happened. That's a true story. And it was the craziest shit ever. Let's see. Well, he didn't necessarily stop by, but for the story he stopped by, yeah. And like I said, it, it wasn't the fact that he did the preheat. Like, that is stupid, but like... It was the fact the mice were living in there, but like it brought it to the, it, <laughs> it brought it to my attention very, very rapidly that there was a mouse nest inside my oven because obviously it was on fire. Now, had that event not happened, I would have just had mice living in my stove and like when I cooked in there, I'd always be like, that, that smells kind of gross, but like whatever, like I didn't, I mean, how do you describe it? Like, you don't know it's a mouse nest on fire until you see the mouse nest on fire. You should feel inside your oven now and see if the birds are warming your oven. Well, I mean, no, not really. So the way this oven works, there's the glass range. And it technically flips up. And there's a gap of about, like, that much. That's just, like an insulate and an insulate it's just a gap and then there's the the outside sheet metal for the oven then there's an insulation layer then there's the inside sheet metal for the oven i mean i think the oven would still technically work it would just like it would have to be on all the, like if i wanted to roast a chicken in there because like normally you turn your oven to a temperature it brings the temperature up and it shuts off and just maintains that temperature and turns itself back on when it needs it well with no insulation it would just be running non-stop i mean it's the paranoia in me was like you know, is it going to light my kitchen cabinet on because it's up against the wood type of deal and just whatever. I don't know. I could probably just put some insulation in there, but I just didn't. Well, so like the insulation is sandwiched between two pieces of steel. Like I had to disassemble the whole entire to get to the insulation, like, it was crazy. Like, if I remember right, there's not, in, like, if I lift this burner up, the insulation isn't just right there. I had to, like, take the sheet metal off and everything. Like, it was crazy, like, because the oven was hot. Like, burn you hot still. Now, I had a screwdriver going, and I, I disassembled. Like, we pulled the oven out. I took the sheet metal off the outside because, like, there was literally smoke pouring out of the thing. So, like, my options were maybe burn my house down drag the oven out of the house while on fire and i went with like huge fireproof equipment and like a, a fire extinguisher on standby and like disassembled the oven while hot it was nuts dude it was one of the crazier events of my life and like pulling a smoldering like the nest that i found was like that big around and it was just like it looked like something like a caveman would carry when he was like going from like camp to camp to start a campfire it was like a it was like a yeah it was nuts dude you should run 220 to the garden and put that stove there and you can get your veg. Yes, veggies instantly cooked. But I, I mean, the range is good. It's glass top range. I love it. I think it's awesome. All right. So I feel like I should have been cooking pancakes when I told that story. I got kind of carried away on that mouse turd. Oh, yeah, that happened. I'm trying to figure out why is this so hot? Am I melting? Is that going to melt? Can I put that? Is there room for that? Ah! I wish I had a counter right over there. I really do. 
I'm not even lying. The other day I was thinking about it. Like, oh, it's complicated. It's a complicated thing. Like, I don't really like to upgrade the old part of the house because, like, I'd love to, like, throw the old part of the house in a trash can and then rebuild it. But, like, the realities of that are becoming less and less every single day. So, like, I'm trying to figure, well, maybe I'll just fix the old part up, just have the old part. And, like, one of the things I'd love to do is get rid of these counters and cabinets and get some real shit in here, but... I know someone who could build a counter over there. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I know a guy too. Okay, we're going to try this. Bacon grease pan fried pancakes. Holy shit. Here we go. Let's get the heat up on this. I'm going to use that. That's my bacon grease distributor. I need a, I need a, I need a pancake batter distributor. The main issue is, like, I told myself I wasn't going to put any money into this house, the old part of the house. So I was going to, all the money that I would put in this old house, I'm going to put into rebuilding it. But, like, yeah, just the cost of what that is now is like getting to the point where it's like, well, I'm not a millionaire, so that's kind of fucking expensive. So, <clears throat> yeah, the sad, the sad reality is I'll probably be living in the old house for the rest of my life. The old mouse. The old mouse house. You know what? We're just going to go with the pork. There we go. Let's do a, a water check. You guys don't want to hear me cry about my house problems. All right, that's sizzling. Here we go. Here we go. Camera in view. Let's see. Next week, there should be an addition. That, yeah, the rain, well, that's the other option. I do have a spare stove. I could bring my other stove, my other oven down. And that thing works fine. It's just the old burner style, like... I mean, I actually don't, the only thing I actually really cooked a lot of was pizzas. And it kind of bums me out. I don't have my wood, or I don't have my stone-fired pizzas anymore. I cook them on the, actually, I don't cook as much as I used to. Pizzas, which is a shame, but whatever. My, my, my problems are so insignificant in the world. All right, we're going to go with that. And then we're going to go. This is experimental. All right, so we got that bacon grease fried. It's going to be crispy edge. Now, something I've learned is what you really want. And I don't, where, God, where is my, ah, where's my pink pink flipper? You got to be kidding me. Where's my, oh, here, woo, woo. The pancake flipper, it's all about the flex. You got to have a flexible pancake flipper. So what I do is you want to come around here and just give a slight lift. What's that going to do is that's going to let that oil sneak underneath just a little tiny bit to make that crispy edge a little more substantial. That makes sense? You ready for this? You ready for the reveal? This is going to blow your mind. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that, like that was like a thing from outer space that's like meant to be. Woo! Look at that. Look at that. No, I'm not. I'm not moving that stove. I like my glass top. I, I I use my glass top way more. Way way more. Way more. Way more 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 more. Not even a question. We're doing, we're doing blue plates, I guess. Oh yeah. By the way, in case you didn't see that, that's right. That's happening. Woo! Celebration bacon, kids. Oh man. Oh good. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. I'm not going to lie. It's starting to look like perhaps the eggs aren't going to happen. I did get them out. Oh, man. Do I have butter out? God. Fiddle sticks. I'm excited about this bacon. I, you know what I should have done? I should have eaten that piece of bacon first. I should have caught it in with a clean palate. For the bacon pancake. All right. So uh, <laughs> while we're while we're sitting here, I, I'm I'm sorry. Sometimes my stories get told more than once. I will tell probably my greatest memory pancake story that I can remember as a child. And this was uh, involved my. Uh, you could give your juice a good blend now that you created a void. Well, that's true. Or I could have I could have high powered orange juice. That's you know, that's a good idea too, isn't it? I mean, there wasn't that much left. I mean, how much is left in there? 
Just a little bit. Yeah, let's put it in there. Yeah, stretch those dollars. So, this is a great story about pancakes. I grew up with two older brothers. And uh, my grandmother on my father's side, she had a cabin up at... Oh, wow! You hear that crunching? With edge? Yeah, good call on the pancake. Pancake uh, fry on the bacon. I wish I'd offer a second. Tell the story. So she had a, a cabin up on the lakes. When I say cabin, it was a cabin. It wasn't like, oh, we have a lake house. It was a cabin. It was not designed for winter use. It was designed to have a place to sleep. And if it rained, you'd stay dry. And then the rest of the time, you're supposed to be outside doing stuff. So when I was a kid, she would occasionally drag us, me and my brothers up there to spend the weekend at the lake, which was fun. Oh, the dog. Forgot about the dog. So anywho, one time we were up there, put some meat back on this, and it was like, what, what do you guys want for breakfast? And uh, when I was growing up, it wasn't a, uh, like, we didn't do, hey, rise and shine, kids, a full course breakfast is ready. No, we didn't do that at all. It was like, wake up, you're late, eat some cereal. <laughs> you know, that's basically, when I think back in my youth, it was just like, wake up in a panic because you're late and shovel cereal down your throat. That's what we did. Anyways, so like, when we went up to the lake, my grandma was like, we want pancakes, yay! And uh, so was, let's make some pancakes and whatever, blah, 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 we're making pancakes. And uh, Grandma got to the point where it's like, all right, let's, let's, we're going to mix them up, and we needed some oil for whatever. The pancakes had to have oil in them. I don't think I put oil in these pancakes. Did I screw it up? I don't even know if I did that. Anyways, maybe cook them or whatever the thing was, there was no oil for the pancakes. And it was like, sorry, kids, can't have pancakes, no oil. And we're like, what? We really want pancakes. Oh, you're, it's like, it's ruined. Though. Everything's ruined. So Grandma would not have that. She was raising the depression, all right? And if you don't know about the depression, take a minute and read up on it. So she's like, we're having pancakes. So she goes to the peanut butter jar, which is like the old school peanut butter where it would separate. You have to, like in the days, back in the day, yeah, because I'm old, your peanut butter would, the oil would float to the top. You have to mix oil back in. So grandma being resourceful, just poured the peanut butter oil off the top. Put that in the pancakes. We had peanut butter pancakes. Oh my God, I'll never forget it. I'm not saying it was bad, but it was just so bizarre. It was like peanut, and not, when I say peanut butter, I'm talking peanut butter, because it was peanut butter oil. It was kind of crazy. I think there might have been one where we, we used Kool-Aid once and made pink pancakes. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, that was a good time. We'd go up. And there was an A and W root beer drive up restaurant on the way. Bacon. And we'd always stop by a gallon of A and W root beer. In a, it's like in a, in a plastic milk jug, which was crazy because it was carbonated. <laughs> that was always blew my mind. When we were growing up, we never really got soda, so that was like a big deal. And we were pretty pro at like kind of tricking grandma because she kind of was just kind of going with the flow. If that makes any sense? I'm not saying we got away with murder, but like we kind of did whatever we wanted. It was awesome. Those are good times. Just kids running loose up the lake. She just did her thing. We would do our thing and we'd come together and like, that was another great one. There was a screen in porch in case it was like raining. You had to sit inside. The mosquitoes were bad or whatever. And when I say screen in porch, I don't mean the windows had screens. I mean, it was like two by fours with screens stapled to them. It was a screen in porch. <laughs> like for real. It was awesome, man. I'd love to do that someday. Is to actually build like a proper cabin. I'm not, like I said, not a house. Just a place you go to to get away from the world and you just have a cabin. We're like, yeah, it was awesome. Had a, had a well, you know, like pump a well, <laughs> get the water in. And uh, there was like a little leak in the roof. So grandma's solution was to buy us packs or 
Honestly, we, I'm pretty, I was pretty young at the time, but I'm pretty sure that we came up with the idea. Oh, hey, Grandma. If you buy us packs of chewing gum, we'll chew the gum up and stick them in the ceiling where the leaks are, and it'll stop the leak. And she's like, good idea. So she always buys gum. And we chew the gum and then stick it to the ceiling to stop the rain leaks, which obviously wouldn't work because the rain leaks on the top of the roof. So as kids, we got to chew gum and stick it to the ceiling to help Grandma out. That was great. Oh, those pancakes are amazing. Let's get some of the dog. Yeah, just 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 uh, decided I'm not doing eggs. Look at that look on her. She's like, "Whoa, is there more? Is there more?" All right, I haven't checked the chat here. Best syrup changed my mind. Uh, here's okay. Let's talk about syrup. Uh, if you're not eating pure, that would be Vermont, but you're not eating pure maple syrup. Yeah, you should you should start assessing. Now, I'm not saying that I don't have other kinds. I do have other kinds. That shit's expensive, but it's still. I mean, my philosophy was always, if you can't afford maple syrup, eat less shit that takes maple syrup, and then when it's time for it, eat maple syrup. Like, does that make any sense at all? Woo! Oh. Am I, am I allergic? Maybe I'm allergic to maple syrup. I swear to God, every time I eat maple syrup, my nose starts running. Is that a thing? Could I be allergic to it? I feel, I feel like I'm eating way too much bacon grease, but you know what? Don't eat bacon grease every day, kids, and you'd probably be okay. The other thing I, I know about bacon grease is generally the uh, unhealthful uh, aspects of it don't affect your life when you're young. It just shaves away a couple years from the shitty part of your life when you're old and having problems. So go ahead and have bacon grease. <laughs> I actually do have a, a maple tree and I thought about it, but the problem is like, you know how much, you, yeah, you need a lot. You talk about like roasting coffee beans is a lot of work. You know, it's a lot of work. Making maple syrup is a lot of work, man. And it's a dirty ass job too. Like boiling ass syrups and shit. Like, woo. I'll leave that to the professionals. But yeah, there's one maple in the front yard, for sure. I guess if the end of the world happens, and like, uh, yeah, they're, they're done making maple syrup everywhere else, I might look into it, but for now, we're gonna let the, uh, we're gonna let the Vermonters and the, and the Canucks do it. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, that's a good pancake. I really don't even want to share it with the dog, to be honest with you, but she's such a good girl. Berta, is it good? Yeah, look at finger looking good. That's finger looking good. All right, where are we at? Ugh. I feel like I haven't drank enough coffee. I'm trying to think what else is going on this week. Like I said, it was cold. I didn't do much this week. Like, the boss man was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. Not gonna go stand on top of a hill with like the wind blowing six thousand miles an hour when it's like single digits. That's not happening, kids. And I said, you know what, boss man? I think you're making a good decision. I don't want to stand that shit either. All right. Next story. I already told some great stories there. Okay. So uh, what happened? I didn't make it to. I didn't make it to Sam's Club last week, so I didn't have any lunch meat. So I was eating peanut butter and jelly. And, uh, went to, like, check the refrigerator to see what I needed to, like, buy at the store. Because I, I, I buy a lot of my stuff at Sam's Club. Check my cheese. And my cheese, like, in a week, went 100% rotten. Like, so much mold on it. Like, it was crazy. So you know what I did? I just went to customer service at Sam's Club. I was like, yo, I buy all my cheese from you guys. Always do. Never, I never throw cheese away. Ever. It always gets eaten. This last block of cheese I bought, <laughs> it's all molded. And the lady said, you know what? We'll give you your money back. Get some new cheese. So that, that, that was a story. 
Now, I'm not saying that you should go to Sam's Club and tell them your cheese is rotten and get free cheese, but like, uh, if you get rotten cheese from Sam's Club, just tell them and they'll uh, take care of you. I assume if you do it too many times, they'll be like, hey, listen here. I mean, I've been, I've been a member of Sam's Club so long that I literally can't remember not being, and I've only had dairy go bad twice. One was a gallon of milk about a year ago, and I, I said, hey, dude, this thing just went bad. Like, it wasn't even to the date yet. And I don't wheeze off the carton. Got to run, dude. Love the baking coffee one. Take it easy, stony baloney. Catch you on the next one, bud. Woo! Coffee. Cheers, bud. Can I get that in there? Um... So yeah, that was that's like I'm trying to think like yeah. Last week kind of went like whoo real quick. I'm like what did I do? Oh man, I don't even know what I did. Just tried to stay warm, man. It was crazy cold. Like I had the heater on. I had my electric baseboard heat and my wood fire stove going, and it's like it was miserable in my house. Like I'm trying to think. I put a thermometer in my like my office area where the plants are. And I think it's like psychological because now I know how cold that room actually is and it's like making me extra cold. Because it's on the opposite side of the wood fire stove part of the house. So like, oh God. I think when I walk in there and I see that thermometer, I'm like, my God, my plant's gonna freeze? Like what is happening? So that's, that's a little depressing. It's life. It's life in the big city. I'm trying to think what else. What else madness has happened? Oh, yeah. So I was playing video games uh, with my group on Wednesday. We're just jamming along, having fun. And uh, I've recently learned that if you take uh, gummy bears, just regular gummy bears in a bowl... And then you put uh, ocean spray cra craisins, which are like uh, dehydrated raisin, uh, cranberries, kind of like a raisin. You mix those in a bowl and you chuck them in your mouth. They are amazing. Because the tartness from the cranberry and the sweetness from the gummy bear just makes this mix that's just, it's, it's amazing. Trust me, you'll love it. So I'm just like gobbling down craisins and just enjoying the game, having fun. Next thing I know... I pop a gummy bear in my mouth, and then I start to choke. So I'm choking on a gummy bear, like, ah, 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 ah. And my, and I got my, my mic's open, so I'm like, I'm like croaking on mic. And everyone's kind of like, whoa! And I'm like, ah! Like, mute my mic and like, recover. I recovered. Come back, I was like, whoa, dude! Just about chucked to death on a gummy bear. And the guy's like, whoa, you alright? I was like, yeah, no, I'm good. Just like, kind of started to go down the wrong pipe there for a second and someone else turned and was like, dude, that's crazy. The other day, he was like, he's like, you're choking on a gummy bear? The other day, one of our guys got attacked by a bat on the stream and then someone else was like, that's the same dude. <laughs> attacked by a bat while streaming or while playing and then uh, choking on a gummy bear. Yeah, that's a true story there. And then last night, I was playing and like, my dog wants to go out or whatever. So when my dog wants to go out during the game, I really don't announce it to everybody. I just kind of... I kind of find a time where I can kind of like sneak away and then I just let my dog out real quick because I just hook her to a chain. It takes like 15 seconds. And then when she wants in, I just let her back in. Well, she was outside doing her thing, being a dog. Also, I hear this crazy bark that I've never heard her make before. Like, what is going on? Like, it wasn't aggressive. It was just a dog vocalization that I'd literally never heard my dog make ever in my life. So I jump up and look while playing, and I'm just like, well, got a dog emergency, got to go. She was nose to nose with a chihuahua about that, like the smallest chihuahua I've ever seen in my life. Any bitty little thing. She had never seen a dog that small, and she didn't know what it, like, she couldn't figure it out. That's why she was making this sound. It was like a high-pitched, like, oh, look at you, little thing. Like, do I eat you, or what do I do? 
of course, this chihuahua, if you ever met a chihuahua, they don't know how small they are, so it was like fronting on her, like, it was like, Arr! but it was like, so it was a chihuahua. I thought about running out and kicking it, but I had nothing but socks on. And of course, she was tangled around a tree, so like, it's a good thing she didn't start fighting the things. I think I would have won, because she was tangled around a tree, couldn't have done anything, couldn't have maneuvered. Whatever. I said, Berta, I said, Berta, that chihuahua was smaller than Gary. It's your ears, Mr. Gary. Yeah, remember Gary? Yeah, he's gone. You could have eaten Gary, but you didn't. That chihuahua was itty bitty. She never seen a dog that small. So, like, she was making, like, a, like, she was baby talking to baby. Like, it was kind of weird. I don't know how that works. So that was fun. And then she was all keyed up for the rest of the night. Just like, is that enough for one more pancake? I don't know. I'm thinking about pancake out. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing eggs. We got extra bacon for sandwiches, Bert. I'm trying to think of any other great stories. Man, I'd love to show you guys all the stuff I got on Friday, but it's like I'm making content out of it. It was a haul. I had a haul. Ooh, it was nuts. So I, the way I think it works is when the weather's shitty, way less people go shopping at that store during the week. So anytime it's shitty weather, that Friday is going to be a gold mine. Because it was a gold mine. I'm not exaggerating. Like they had, they had this 3M tape there, vinyl tape. It's like designed for, I don't know what you do with it. I guess people are using it to like mark off like social distancing and you can, I think what it's really designed for is like if you have a warehouse with concrete floors and you have to like indicate on the floor where, th where things go or like deliveries get delivered or where fork lifts park whatever. But that layout changes a lot. You don't want to paint that on the ground because if it changes, so they made this vinyl tape that sticks down. And uh, I bought like $160 worth of vinyl tape for like a buck, 50. <laughs> like it's crazy. And they didn't care to like take this shit off our hands. So I got, I got vinyl tape for life. $14 a roll normally. Yeah, that's crazy. So that was a huge score, which is like, it's just tape. Like, so that, what I've been using is that I've been using masking tape for my, sh my unboxing videos to hide my name. Well, I use masking tape, like masking tape's a good tape to have for like masking things off. Well, I've been wasting my masking tape on sh unboxing videos. Well, now I'm just gonna use that vinyl tape because I literally have a lifetime supply of vinyl tape. It's yellow. So you probably see more of that in my videos. I think what else it was like super crazy. Got a calendar, that's cool. Oh, I got another color of slime putty. I'll do a reveal. Big reveal. Check out this slime putty color. It's called Super Illusion. Look at that. Isn't that nuts. Not to be confused with the, uh, the gold. Here's the gold. That's the gold. And the super illusion. So I really started thinking about it. Like basically what all this stuff is, it's silly putty, but it like, I guess more better colored. I, mean, I, I made that video I posted the other day and I, that was like, I bought the stuff, brought it home. I should probably wash my hands after touching that, actually. Give me one second. <clears throat> and I brought it home. And I was like, oh, I got some time. Because it was crap weather. So I shot that video real quick. I didn't even know anything about it. And then after I was playing with it, I determined, dude, it's silly putty is what it is. It's just the exact same thing as silly putty. Silly putty. Silly putty. Breaks apart, stretches, balances the exact same. They just figure out how to make it like Technicolor or something crazy. 
And it's a lot. There's way more than you would get in a silly pike in here. So that's fun. I mean, I guess everybody excited. Oh, well. I'm trying to think there's any other great stories. Um, yeah. Nothing too great. Just another another week of just getting by, I guess. More bacon. Turned out pretty good. Doggy wants bacon. There you go. So, I don't know. I think we're getting close to an hour. Try to see what my timer says. 61 minutes. That seems to be like way enough time to uh, watch me blabber about bacon and eggs. Hey! You looking at my cabinets? Oh, my tag's centered. I don't think it's supposed to be. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that. All right. This week, I think it's supposed to be nice this week, so probably, be, unfortunately, not having free time. That's how life goes sometimes. Can't be crap weather all the time. All right. Well, I'm going to go uh, probably not clean my... Yeah, I don't think... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to take the rest of the day off. I should do some cleaning, but I don't feel like it. I need to do some laundry. I need to wash my warm socks. Down my last pair that don't fit very well. I keep falling off. All right. I'm going to sign off, pass an hour. Thanks for tuning in. If you caught this on the re-upload, thanks for checking that out. I try to eat breakfast every Sunday on video or on stream. It's kind of running out of ideas, so I might just... It's more about the stories, I think. I mean, I am cooking breakfast, but... I mean, I could just sit there and tell stories. That's amazing, too. But thanks to Toe Shifter for the fry your pancakes and bacon idea. I don't know why that never came to mind. Actually, I don't think I've ever eaten pancakes and bacon at my house at the same time. It's usually bacon and eggs. I'm a bacon and eggs guy. That's why the eggs out. I was like, well, bacon, got to cook eggs. Well, how much can I eat, you know? All right. That's it. Until next time. Stay safe. Be good. Do good things. Say hi to everyone that knows me. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Yes, end.